Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make a pumpkin head um, inspired by Cabin in the Woods. It's one of the creatures you see in the cubes in the main um, sort of area or when all the monsters escape. I can't remember exactly where you, where you see him, um, but there is a pumpkin head in the film. First of all, take your balloon and blow it up as big as you can, preferably bigger than your head. So you need a decent sized balloon for this. And then tape it to your table so it stays in place and stays upright. Cover it in two layers of plaster of Paris bandage. I didn't bother adding that to the tutorial because all you do is you dip it in water, place it on the balloon and smooth it down. Then cut off all the bits of tape from the bottom and if you hold the neck of the balloon between your fingers and cut it very slightly, you can actually slowly let the air out of the balloon as opposed to, to jabbing it with a pin and it going bang. Then trim the neck area because you want that nice and even if you can. And I'm just rubbing away any little lumps and bumps on the inside and using my heat gun to dry the inside a little bit. Then once I got to this stage then I take a blue crayon. I started off with a light one first but I'll change it in a bit so you can see what I'm doing. Use a blue crayon and mark out the jagged mouth of the pumpkin. I did that first of all because I wanted to make sure I got space for the mouth because you can always make the nose and the eyes fit, fit around the mouth later. And then I'm adding the eyes and the nose as you can see here. I did put the veins in of the pumpkin but I didn't bother with those in the end. I felt it looked alright without them. Then cutting up a toilet roll tube I used that as the basis for the stalk at the top like the sort of shriveled up bit of stem. Covered that in a layer of the plaster Paris bandage to attach it to the pumpkin head. Then I took a piece of the plaster Paris bandage and twisted it at the top to create the sort of shriveled up um, stalk bit and I pinched the top of the cardboard tube to squish it down and it made that sort of shriveled up sort of stalk at the top. Then used scissors I cut out the eyes it's easy to cut with scissors because it's only two layers of plaster paris bandage. Then I cut out the mouth which is a bit fiddly but just take it out little bit section by section kind of as you would a, a pumpkin if you were make, doing a proper pumpkin and just keep going very carefully cutting. Um, I'm doing this while the plaster, bar plaster bandage is still a little bit soft and flexible so just be careful. Then once you go it to this stage, then the next job is, the, there you go, so that's what the um, pumpkin looks like so far. And then the next thing I need to do is let that dry, which I did for about half an hour. Then the next thing you need to do is take some black acrylic paint, mix it with a bit of water to make it a bit more runny, and then paint the whole thing inside and out with black acrylic paint. On the outside I did a very th very thick dark layer, on the inside I just did a light layer and it, it was a bit patchy but once my head's in there you're not going to see it anyway. Then I'm just using my heat gun to dry it off a bit and using my brush to touch up any bits. At this stage I'm taking a yellow ochre and cadmium red mixed together to make a sort of really dark orange. I'm dipping my brush in the paint, wiping it on a baby wipe and then dry brushing that on the top of the pumpkin. Basically I'm just flicking the brush very quickly backwards and forwards so the very tip of the brush is touching the pumpkin and it just puts a very thin, very very slight layer of paint over the pumpkin. So I decided to use a dry brushing technique for this because it gives it a sort of more aged, earthy, sort of dark tone. I didn't want a cartoony bright orange pumpkin. Then I dried off that first layer a little bit with my heat gun again, just ever so slightly. It's not it's not a very warm heat gun. It's just to help the paint start to set. Then I added a little bit more yellow ochre and used that as a lighter colour. Again, wiped off most of the paint off my brush and then dry brushed that over the top. And what I like is because I painted it black first, all those little sort of indentations and things that are not covered by the paint show through, and it shows that the texture of the um, plaster bandage and any creases and things that you've and patterns you've put into the pumpkin really well. 
and just did that all over. Then I'm taking some more yellow ochre, and this is my third layer of paint, and this is lighter still, and just adding that mainly to the face on this bit. And I also added a little touch of white and just went over the very like, front of the pumpkin on the top highlights. And I'm using sap green and using that to dry brush the vines and the shriveled up stem that I made. And then I'm adding a little bit of white to make it lighter and using that for the highlights to highlight where the little vine pieces are. And that's it. Um, I'm just touching up the back of the pumpkin because I didn't do the last layer on the back and I felt I needed to blend the face in a bit more. And that's it. That's how to make a pumpkin mask. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.